Hi there and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to, I'm going to show you 10 ways that you can fix um, a broken model. So it's quite a general approach but I'm going to show you quite a few common things that I come across um, and show you how to fix them. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start off with the vertices. So I've got this gun here and what I'm going to do is select it and go into vertex mode. I'm going to hit Control A on the keyboard to select all. I'm going to right click and go to weld and I'm going to go to the option box. So I'm click that. And I'm going to put in the value 0 0.001, uh, which is a very small um, it's a very small threshold, but uh, I find that this welds most of the vertices that need to be welded. Uh, straight away. Sometimes if you put in 0, 0.1, you've, it's actually too big of a threshold and that means that you can merge vertices together that really don't need merging. So anyway, we'll set that to 0 0.001 and click OK. So the next thing we need to do is we need to check for isolated verts and I've got an example of that here. So up here, I've um, all I've done is I've grabbed these and I've cloned them. But this can be the remnants or the leftovers from where you've been modeling before. So you may have uh, deleted edges or, or, or thought you deleted a model and actually left the vertices behind. So what we can do, we can either do this manually, so we can either select those and just hit delete on the keyboard if we can see them. But let's say that we can't see them. Let's say that they're inside the model somewhere and I'll just turn on, uh, I'll hit 7 on my keyboard to bring up the statistics in the top corner. And what I'll do is I'll just go onto my panel here and I'll scroll down and I'll, under edit vertices, I will click removed isolated vertices. And I don't know if you saw that, but they've gone. I'll just undo that so you can see it and go into wireframe. Here are the verts and I'll just remove isolated vertices again and there they are, they've gone. So the next thing we can try is just go and have a look, look around the model and if you ever see a black area like this or something that just doesn't look quite right in comparison to the rest of the rest of your model it's probably due to a flip normals. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to select this element and you'll notice that it's a very um, sort of dark red and when I select a normal piece of geometry which has the normals facing outwards um, you can see that it's much a much brighter red so we'll select these and all we'll do is go to right click and flip normals I do this quite a lot so it, it, it's quite handy to put a normal modifier onto your stack so onto your modifier list so that's quite handy to do also. But as long as you flip the normals back to the way they were, you'll notice when I collapse it that all the normals pretty much look okay. But go around the model and just, just check to see if there are any others and no, it looks like it's okay. So another common thing to happen um, on a model is if you go in and, and create some edges and then decide that you don't want them, and you just delete the edges on their own, you can actually leave some some vertices um, that can be left behind after you've deleted the edges. So we'll just go in here and we'll just clean this bit up. Uh, that one's okay. Or we can actually, we can do this one of two ways. We can connect them back up again. Like so. Or we can just select the ones that are out there on their own and we can just hit backspace and delete them and if you want to delete the rest of the edge what you can do is just hit 2 and then double click on the edge and it will follow it all the way around or should do or just manually go in and select the edges and then what we'll do is we'll go over to the edit edges and we'll control and hit remove on there so holding control down on your keyboard hit remove and you'll notice if you go back into vertex mode that all the verts have been deleted as well as the edges.
So the next thing we're going to look at is uh, overlapping faces. So if you look around your model and you're, you're panning around and you happen to see some kind of flashing like this, this can often lead to the fact that um, you've got two separate pieces of geometry that you might have uh, deleted, uh, sorry, duplicated by mistake. Um, so it's worth going into element, element mode and just click in there a few times just to see if you have got two pieces of geometry there that are sharing the same space. So if you have, just delete one of them. You've got to choose the right one, of course. So if it's, uh, if it's the wrong one and it's a textured model, then you'll be able to see that straight away. But yeah, and you can also see here that these, these uh, lines need connecting up these edges. So we're just going to vertex mode and we'll just connect these so you get a better mesh flow. So another thing you can do while you're checking through your model, and obviously the last example I showed you how to connect these um, these vertices up by an edge just to clean up the mesh flow. But if you notice something like this, you can um, you can first of all you can you can do the same and connect these up. Or what you can do is just quickly throw on a turn to poly modifier. So if you go up to your modifier stack. Uh, I would suggest put it in your modifier set list, but if you go up here and go and hit T on your keyboard and go to turn to poly, and what we'll do is the limit the size to either three or four, meaning we want all polygons to be four sided or three sided. So by default it's four. So let's just check the checkbox limit polygon size, and you'll notice that these get sorted out. Sometimes this doesn't do a very good job. But often it does fix the model um, enough to get it exported out and to check it out. And this also goes across the whole of the model. So if there's any areas where any other areas like like down here, for example, they'll be pointed out and fixed. So turn to poly, that's a really handy uh, tool to have. So another pretty standard um, fix that I use on models is when selected, when the model's selected, if you see a crazy bounding box like this off to an angle, um, you can you basically have to have to fix this to be able to export it out and it work properly. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to reset the X form. In Maya, it's called freeze transformations, and all we get all we do is we go over to the utilities uh, panel here. And we scroll down and there's reset X form. So we hit that button. And you'll notice that a reset transform button uh, area will appear. And what we're going to do is just select reset selected. So we'll click that and you'll notice that the bounding box goes straight. And if we go back to our modify panel, we can right click and we can collapse all there. And the model will be fixed. So here's another little tip, um, just in case by mistake you might have uh, you might have hidden part of a model. You may or may not have done that. I've done it before. Um, but basically, if you go into face mode here, into polygon mode, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go under edit geometry and we're going to look down and we'll just go unhide all. It's basically this part this part of the panel you can select areas and you can um, you can hide selected and and sometimes this can happen uh, and you think oh no I've broken my model but um, if you just go uh, like I say under under edit geometry there and unhide all at least you'll have part of your model back so in the next stage we'll just move on to how to actually fix a completely broken model and how to uh, get it ready for export. So let's say that we really we really can't fix the normals on, on this model. Let's say that it's got completely broken normals and the smoothing groups are off and all sorts of things are wrong with it. So what we can do is we can export the model out of um, out of 3ds max and re-import it back in sometimes that can fix the model 
So what we'd do is we'd go to File and then Export Selected. And we'd choose the desktop and we'd go to OBJ. And from there we'd go Export Fix Test. Click Save. We'd set it to Triangles. Uh, we wouldn't export the material library um, and we check all the rest of it, precision 6, turn all these off and then export it. And then we just go and import it back in. And sometimes that will go ahead and fix broken normals and all that kind of stuff. So what we could also do, let's just say that we really we couldn't we were trying to select this object and we really just couldn't select it even to fix it. And that happens quite a lot in Max. I don't really know understand why it happens, but it does happen quite a lot. So what we can do is we can create a box and we'll convert that to an editable poly. And uh, what we can do is we can then try and attach it. Uh, try and attach the in this in this case the gun to the box, and that will basically make a whole new model, which can fix a lot of things. Um, but let's say that I, I I just can't I can't attach it in the viewport. So what we'll do instead is we'll go right click and we'll attach here, and then we'll attach it by name. Creates a new model. We can delete the box. And what I always do is just reset X forms, collapse it, and we'll just center pivot, and then we can export it out. So thanks very much for watching the video, and I hope it helps somebody out. These are tips that I've learned over the years, and in combination, they, they usually work. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Cheers!